This is the culmination of our series on the supernatural power to walk in kingdom abundance and create kingdom wealth. In the first part, we dealt with the lies that had crept into the church about wealth and finances and provision that had been limiting us in our ability to create wealth. And we looked at all sorts of scriptures showing how much God has blessed us and how much he wants to help us walk in a greater manifestation of that blessing. And then last episode, we started to look at the supernatural power tools God has given us to create kingdom wealth. But I saved one of the very most powerful of those tools for this episode to focus on just it because it's so powerful. What is this tool? It's the power of decree. How does the power of decree help us create kingdom wealth? Well, don't go anywhere because you are about to find out. I'm Robert Hodgkin, and this is the Supernatural Mentoring Series, where we make the supernatural simple so that you can grow in the things of the Spirit and be even more fulfilled and effective in your faith. I know you're here because you're hungry for the supernatural, so click that subscribe button and you'll be notified every time we upload more content. And be sure to go back through this entire series. I think there's like 22 episodes now where every week we are mentoring you in how to move in the supernatural and making it simple so that we can all grab hold of it and do it. And of course, be sure to share these videos with anyone and everyone you know. You can just send them the Supernatural Mentoring Series playlist right off the YouTube channel and help them grow in the supernatural aspects of their Christian faith. All right, let's get into this. The power of decree as a tool to create kingdom wealth. Before we go into the the power to create kingdom wealth with it, let's establish the power of of decree. It's one of the most supernatural powers God has given us. It's so profound. Think of this. God starts the Bible. The entire Bible, the first power of God that's put on display is the power of decree. He starts the Bible with this incredible display of the power of decree. Right there in Genesis 1-3, it starts when God says, when God declares, when God speaks, when God sends forth the word when God decrees, let there be light, boom, there's light. You go from darkness to light. You go from void and chaos to kingdom order. You go from nothing to all of creation through the power of decree. That's how powerful the power of decree is. For the first 25 verses of Genesis 1, God speaks, God declares, God decrees all of existence into existence. He creates existence. He brings existence into existence through the power of decree. All the world, all space and time, all brought forth through the power of decree. The writers of Hebrews echoes this and 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 in mentoring the church is saying, hey, you got to catch this. In Hebrews 11.3, it says, the worlds were framed by the word of God so that the things which are seen We're not made of things which are visible. Right here, the writer of Hebrews is saying, look at what happened in Genesis 1 through the power of decree. The worlds are framed by the word of God, by the declared word of God, the decreed word of God. Everything which is seen has been made from something not seen. God, not seen, obviously. But think about this. Words aren't seen. Words are sent forth unseen, but words, when we declare and decree the word of God, it forms, informs, frames, and establishes our world. Genesis 1 proves it. Hebrews 11, 3 points it out. And here's what's super exciting. You are made and meant to walk in the power of decree. God doesn't only put it on display in Genesis 1, verses 1 through 25. God not only starts out the entire Bible with this huge display of the power of decree, but then the next thing he does after decreeing all of creation, all of space and time, all by framing the entire world and space and time through the power of decree, the very next thing he does in Genesis 1 verse 26 is it says, then God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness, and let them rule. And then it goes on to talk about take dominion. He puts us in place as dominion stewards. 
What's really important is when God says, let us make man, and of course he goes on to say that's male and female, let us make humans in our image and after our likeness. Notice how it doesn't just say in our image, but according to our likeness, or some translations say after our likeness. These are two different words with two different meanings. God's not being repetitive, he's not being redundant, and he's not simply being poetic. There's two different things, in his image and after his likeness, we could translate that as in his image, let us make man in our image. Let us make man as our representatives and representers and after our likeness. So he's saying, let us make men and women as our dominion stewards in our image. Let us make them to be our representatives and representers. And then after our likeness means, and they will go about it in the manner that we go about it. Why is this important? Because when God puts us in place as dominion stewards here on earth in verse uh, 26 through 28 of Genesis 1, he begins that immediately after decreeing all of existence into existence, he puts us in place as his dominion steward of this realm and says we're here to represent and represent him and we'll do it in the same manner he does it. What did he just do? He just brought creation forth through the power of decree. So as his representatives, as his representers, as his tribe in union, communion, friendship, fellowship, and relationship with him, operating in his authority by his power all to his glory, the main way we do that is the power of decree. What he models for 25 verses, he then says, says, you're made as my representatives and you will represent me and you will steward creation in the same manner I brought it forth, in my image and after my likeness. So you were meant to move in the power of decree. It's one of the most important aspects of the tools God has given us as dominion stewards here on earth on behalf of his kingdom, but we also can use it to create wealth. But I really want to drive this thing home that the, the power of decree that's put on display to bring forth the frame and, and form and inform all of existence and our worlds that we're meant to walk in it. Job 22, 28, the word of God says, you will also decree a thing. You catch that? He's saying you will also decree a thing. Just like God can decree a thing made in his image and after his likeness, you will also decree a thing and it will be established for you. So you not only are allowed to do it, you not only can do it, you're not only allowed to do it, you're not only empowered to do it, but there's a promise attached that when you do, what you decree according to the word of God will be established. Not might, but will. It's as certain as light be, boom, light is there. It's as certain as decreeing and declaring the word of God. You also will decree a thing according to the word, and it will be established. Jeremiah 1 verse 10, this will help settle anything if you think, yeah, but I'm, I'm still fairly new to all this. I might, You might be a new Christian, or you might be new to the supernatural aspects of your Christian faith, and you might be thinking, yeah, but I'm new to all this. I'm not seasoned. Well, in Jeremiah 1, God is putting Jeremiah in place as a prophet, as a spokesperson, as one who will share, decree, and declare the word of God. And at one point, Jeremiah says, but I am but a youth. And God says, don't talk to me about your limitations or your lack of experience. That's not what this is about. You're not, I'm not limited by your limitations and you're not limited by your limitations. Whether you're new, old, young, whatever, you have this power. God says, behold, I have put my words in your mouth. See, I have appointed you this day over the nations and over the kingdoms. What's he doing? He's reminding those in relationship with him that we are his dominion stewards here on earth, that he has put his words in our mouth. And if we choose to speak them forth, if we choose to decree, declare, if we choose to announce and pronounce the word of God, God, that it will pluck up and break down, destroy and overthrow, build and plant. So he's reminding Jeremiah and through Jeremiah, all of this, because don't go, yeah, but Jeremiah was a great prophet of the Old Testament. I'm just some believer. You know, Robert, what are you talking about? You're just some believer, right? But what does Jesus tell us in Matthew? Of the Old Testament prophets, the greatest of them all was John the Baptist, even greater than Jeremiah. Jesus said that. But then the next thing he says, but the least in the kingdom of God, in other words, the least in the new covenant is greater than these. So you need to catch this. You're a New Testament, new covenant believer. 
You have under this New Testament, new covenant, through the blood of Jesus, through the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, through the word of God that you are in relationship with him and you're allowed to decree and declare, you actually have not just as much power in the power of decree as Jeremiah does, but Jesus himself declares that we're even greater for the plans and purposes of God, not in ourselves, but in God. So this promise is absolutely for you. And God says to you, behold, I have put my words in your mouth. I have appointed you this day to rule over the nations and kingdoms. What's he saying? When you said yes to my son, you were restored to the plan since day six. You're my dominion steward. You're made in my image after my likeness. You're made to, to steward this realm the way I brought it forth through the power of decree. And when you do, it will pluck up and break down, destroy and overthrow, build and plant. So here's the power of decree. When you declare the word of God, when you let it be in your mouth and you speak it forth, you release it, you decree it, you declare it in faith, in your authority, as one in relationship with your heavenly father, as his dominion steward here on earth, through the gift of his son and the indwelling power of his Holy Spirit, you will pluck up and break down the things that the enemy has established. You will destroy and overthrow the works of the enemy that Jesus has already defeated. You will execute and legislate that victory through the power of declaring and decreeing the eternal truth of God's word in the face of temporary circumstances. And you will build and plant the things of God. So you'll pluck up and break down, destroy and overthrow things of the enemy, things like poverty and lack, and doubt and withholding and absolutely sickness, disease, oppression. But let's start shifting into the power to create wealth that decree gives us as one of the power tools that God has given us to inhabit, to, to move in the promise of Deuteronomy 8.18, that he has given us the power to create wealth and it actually confirms his covenant. One of the things he's given us in this covenant is the power of decree. And when we decree, we will pluck up and break down, destroy and overthrow the things of the enemy, strongholds of the enemy, including poverty, lack, doubt, withholding, all of those things. When you declare the word of God, the promises of God, the truth of God about his abundance, his wealth, and his provision to you and through you, you will destroy those things of the enemy that has blocked or limited and stopped up, withheld, delayed the provision God has given you that you haven't seen manifest yet. You will also, when you declare and decree the word of God, you will build up and plant the things of the kingdom of God in and through your life. Things like abundance, multiplication, increase, faith in his economy, faith in his generosity, faith in what he has given you that the substance of your faith will establish in this realm. That's the power of decree. So we can use this power of decree to declare the truth of God's word, decree the truth of God's word, and see it frame, establish, plant, and build up any of the things God wants us to have in abundance and anything and everything he wants us overflowing and wealthy in. And as we've talked about in this entire series about creating kingdom wealth, when we talk kingdom wealth, we're talking about a wealth and abundance and an overflow of every good thing. We're talking about a wealth of love, of, uh, of love and peace and joy. We're talking about a, a, a wealth and overflow of patience and compassion and anointing and righteousness. We're talking about an abundance and a wealth and an overflow of favor and every spiritual blessing in heavenly places and everything pertaining to life and godliness. And yes, we are talking about an abundance and an overflow and a wealth of provision and finances because that's one of God's promises as well. So you can use the power of decree as a supernatural power tool to create wealth because God has given you the power to create wealth. And one of the tools to move in that power is the power of decree. So let me give you just a handful of scriptures that are the word of God, that are the eternal truth of God, that the yes and amen promises of God in Christ that you already have, that as you decree and declare, you're framing, you're forming, you're informing, you're building up, and you're establishing your world and your existence, this realm 
of wealth that God has given you the power to create so you can enjoy an abundance and wealth of every good thing he's already given you. So things like Philippians 4.19, where it declares that God will supply all our needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Deuteronomy 8.18, which is what this whole series has been built on, that it is he, it is God who's giving us the power to make wealth and we can grab hold of that power and move in that power. And then Malachi 3 verses 10 and 11, that we're even allowed to test God in this and that he will open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing until it overflows. And he will also rebuke the devourer so that the seed that we sow and the harvest that comes in from it won't be limited, won't be stolen, won't be devoured. And all that we have sown will come to the fullness of fruition and fullness of harvest. So those are God's word. Those are God's promises. He's given you those words. He's put them in your mouth. The question is, are you willing to believe that truth and declare that truth? Because when you do, you frame, you form, you inform, and you establish the realm of God's truth because you're made in his image and after his likeness. So if there's been the darkness of lack, the darkness of poverty, the darkness of withholding, the darkness of even a lack of faith to see these things in your life, what do you do? Well, how do you conquer darkness? By declaring God's word that releases the light of his truth. When you declare God's word, the other cool thing that happens is in Psalm 103, it says angels are released to perform the word of God. So simply by declaring the word of God, you're moving in that Genesis 1 dominion steward power that you have because you're made in his image and after his likeness. You're framing, forming, and informing your world, the world, existence, according to Hebrews 11.3. And according to Psalm 103, angels are being released by the uh, Lord of hosts to perform that word. So you're not only moving in power, you're adding the additional power of the angelic realm. And if you want more on that, go back through the whole series in this series on angels and the angelic realm. There's several episodes on that. It's all in the playlist. You can catch all of that. Go back and watch those because that's something else the power of decree brings to, to, to bear in establishing these things. So how does it work? It's really simple. You simply allow the word of God to be in your mouth and then you speak it forth. So let's look at the scriptures I gave you. Um, Where did I put those? All right. So Philippians 419, Deuteronomy 818 and Malachi 3 verses 10 through 11. So this is how you can take those scriptures and turn them into decrees to use the power of decree to frame, form and inform and establish those truths in your life to create kingdom wealth. So you can decree, God, thank you. I declare that my God will meet all of my needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. And you can you can simply do that in faith. But the more you do it, the more the flow of the power of decree and agreement and declaration of the word will happen. So like if I'm doing this, I probably will start with, thank you, God. I declare and decree the truth of your word that you are meeting all my needs according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I thank you that my financial needs are met. And I'll go through all my different needs. And if there's specific financial needs, thank you, Lord. I pray this all the time. Thank you, Lord, that you meet the budget, the budgetary needs of Robert Hodgkin Ministries every single month. And you do it from your riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Thank you that I am in Christ Jesus. I am plugged into your kingdom economy and you are flowing your riches in glory to meet every single need that I have. I'm receiving it. I'm believing it as I send it forth. I thank you that you're framing and establishing a realm of supernatural divine provision in my life and in my ministry so that I can be a blessing and build and establish and go everywhere you want me to go, build and establish everything you want me to build and establish and do for you and those you love everything you're calling me to do as your son and your servant, as your friend. And then Deuteronomy 818, Lord, thank you. I decree and declare that you have given me the power to create wealth. And I thank you for the privilege of co-laboring with you according to your will, way, word, and wisdom to establish a wealth of every good thing. And I thank you, Lord, that as I decree this thing, I am operating in the power to create wealth and everything I need in abundance, 
everything I need a wealth of, it is being established, it is being created right now. And then you can speak specific things. If you have a specific need, like your mortgage, declare that that, that, that wealth is coming in. If you need favor, if you need opportunity, whatever it is, if, if you need to move in more patience, declare, decree and declare God has given you patience and he's giving you the power to create a greater realm of patience and that you're moving in that power. And as you're declaring and decreeing, it, you can even ask Holy Spirit to help you engage in the spirit to see these things being formed and established. Even as God spoke forth all of creation, you're doing that in, a, in the power of decree made in his image and after his likeness. You are not God. I am not God. But God says he's given us this power, uh, his power, his authority, through his Holy Spirit, because of the gift of his son, all to his glory, we get to move in it. And then uh, uh, Malachi 3, verses 10 through 11. Lord, I declare and decree that you have opened the windows of heaven. <clears throat> You've given me seed to sow, and I've sown it, and I've been a faithful tither. And you say, you say I can even test you in this, God, that as a tither, I thank you that the windows of heaven are opened over my life, and you pour out a blessing that I cannot contain. I thank you for filling up my coffers, filling up my accounts, so I have more than enough for every good work you've called me to, and to be a blessing to everyone everywhere I go. Thank you, God, that the windows of heaven, heaven are open over my life and you are pouring out a kingdom wealth of abundance in every good thing and blessing is flowing into my life until it overflows. And God, thank you that you've rebuked the devourer. So I decree and declare that anywhere the enemy tries to come and steal, kill, destroy, limit, hinder, interfere, or devour, he is rebuked. And I declare the complete, utter, and total victory of Jesus Christ over every seed that I've sown, every single harvest that's coming in, every single bit of what you've given me as seed to sow, bread to eat, all that I've planted, the devourer may not touch it. It will come to full fruition and full harvest because the devourer is rebuked. And anything that has been devoured, I call it back and I call it back in abundance because you say, and now moving into John 10, 10, you say that where the enemy comes to steal, kill, devour, and destroy, you have come to give me abundance. So God, thank you that as I decree a thing, it is established. Job 22, 28, you start declaring and decreeing that truth. Thank you, God, that as I decree a thing, that the thing, everything of the enemy is plucked up and destroyed, Jeremiah 1, 10, and your truth. And the manifestation of your word and your truth is being established in my life, including the creation of kingdom wealth and kingdom abundance in every good thing, including provision and finances. In Jesus' name, amen. That's how you take the truth of God's word. You let it be in your mouth and you speak it forth in the power of decree. So there you go. The power of decree is incredibly powerful. And when we use the scriptures that we've been looking at through this whole series on kingdom wealth and kingdom abundance, you can start decreeing those scriptures and it will form, inform, frame, and establish your world. That's kingdom truth. That's Genesis 1 verse 26, 20, 28 dominion stewardship. That's part of being made in his image and after his likeness. So start using the power of decree. Ask God for one scripture to, to be decreeing in this area for abundance or wealth. And if you don't want to do it for finances, hopefully after this series, you see that God actually wants you walking in abundance and wealth in provision and finances. But you can do it with patience or joy or love or peace. And as you see that growing and being established, but jump in and do all the above. He's not an either or God. He's not a, you get one from column A and one from column B. Every spiritual blessing in heavenly places is yours in Christ Jesus. And the power of decree helps you through the substance of your faith and the power of decree to frame, form, inform, and establish his truth in your life. It will establish in this earthly realm that we're stewarding what is already ours in the eternal realm. So... I want to also feature a couple of things that will help you with this, because sometimes we go, yeah, 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 I get it. And then we sit down to do it and we kind of can't think of what to do. So 
We've got our whole 31 Decrees of Blessing series, and this is the one I wrote. We've got 31 Decrees of Blessings for your life, 31 Decrees of Blessings for women, and then I wrote 31 Decrees of Blessing for men. And you can get go to my uh, roberthodgkin.com page and go to the store, and you'll see that this listed. Or you can also go to our, our uh, Patricia King Ministry store at patriciakingministries.com. Click the store link. You'll see this. You'll see the 31 Decrees of Blessings for your life and the 31 Decrees of Blessings blessings for women. The cool thing about this is it's a daily devotional and every day there's a devotion about something God has blessed you with of a, 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 a scriptural truth. It starts with a scripture, a devotion on that scripture, and then it gives you 10 decrees to declare so that you can start framing and establishing that kingdom truth, that kingdom blessing in your life. And then here's an amazing resource, our decree booklet. It's got like two dozen decrees, about two dozen different things. Like, let me even read you some of the decrees in here. Um, um, for everlasting love, for who you are in Christ, for blessing, favor, victory, wisdom, glory, provision and resource, Christian character, spiritual strength, the empowerment to go, health and healing, uh, decrees for your business, ministry and workplace, family and children, great grace for rejuvenation and for healing, for this, uh, being supernatural in Christ, um, decrees for your nation, um, and on and on and on. And what's cool is it's... Uh, all of it is scripture based and it's we've taken scriptures in these areas and turned them into decrees so you can read through whatever one like there's several i read through and I, I declare i don't just read through i decree and declare every single day so that makes it super easy actually here's what i want to do for you i want to give you the opportunity to create wealth and we talked about opportunities to be generous and so i'm going to give you that but i also want to give you the ability to very easily move in the power of decree so here's what i'm going to do this month the month of february anybody who partners with Robert Hodgkin Ministries at $30 or more a month, because um, that's sort of becoming, the bookkeeper told me that's sort of our basic level. And you can do whatever you want. B please believe me. We're grateful for any partnership at all. But anybody who partners with Robert Hodgkin Ministries for $30 or more a month, I'm going to, when you do that, I will send you an email and give you a free download of the power of decree so that you have it. And the cool thing about the digital download is you can print it out so you can read it just like a hard copy of a book, or you can have it on your phone, you can have it on your tablet, you can have it on your computer, you can have it with you anywhere you go. So you could be riding on the tube in London and sitting there on your phone and decreeing over yourself until your next stop or wherever you're going. So let me, I will do that for you because then um, um, you will be immediately blessed for being a blessing. You will begin to create wealth because you're sowing, you'll immediately get a blessing back and you'll get your very own copy of the power of decree. And if you decree, one decree a day and you just do it over and over again, moving through all of them. Oh my gosh, the realms, including the realms of provision and finances that'll be established in your life will be powerful. So this wraps up our series on kingdom wealth inside the supernatural mentoring series. I've got several more things planned for you. Like we're going to do stuff on um, uh, mentoring you and how to practice the presence of God. We're going to do a whole module on healing and healing miracles. We're going to do something on the engineering of heaven into the earth. I've got all sorts of things planned and even outlined that I want to hear from you. What topics do you want me to cover in the Supernatural Mentoring Series? Do me a favor and post that in the comments to the video, in the comment section below the video, because I'd love to hear from you. I'm excited about what's coming up, but I also want to make sure I'm serving you well in this series and if there's any topics that you haven't gotten yet. And don't forget... We're doing our live Q&A Zoom session for questions in the supernatural. For all of you going through this series, I think it's February 19th. I'm doing a free Zoom session, and we've already got about 300 people signed up, and I think our Zoom only hosts 500. So there's still plenty of room, but it is filling up. Um, but you can come on with me when you, when you go to – I'll put a link – in the comments below how you can sign up for it because it's totally free. And then you'll get the Zoom link 
um, uh, when we when we're going to go live. And the other thing that's cool when you sign up, you can write out your question about the supernatural because that'll help me get through a lot more questions. But I'll also take them in the Q&A section of Zoom. So you'll be able to post your questions live and I'll be answering your questions live and I can interact with you live. It'll be really fun. We're going to start doing that every few months just to continue to build connection and community in the Supernatural Mentoring Series. So look for that. Sign up for that. Join me live for that. And then... Because I know you're hungry for the supernatural, subscribe to this channel right now if you haven't, because that way you'll be notified every time we upload another episode of the Supernatural Mentoring Series, and you'll keep growing in the supernatural aspects of your Christian faith. And then, of course, as always, please be sure to share these videos with everyone and anyone you know who's hungry to grow in the supernatural aspects of their Christian faith. God wants an empowered church right now. He needs an empowered church and we are here to help equip encourage and empower the church of jesus christ to move in the supernatural power he's made available to us help us do that not only by subscribing and continuing in the series but by sharing those videos with anyone and everyone you can think of who also is hungry to grow in the supernatural aspects of their christian faith all right thanks for being with me this week and i will see you back for another episode of our supernatural mentoring series next week if you're hungry for more of the supernatural, you don't have to wait for the next Supernatural Mentoring Series video. I recommend you go and get a copy of my new book, Realms of Power, Operating in Untapped Dimensions of Holy Spirit Power Today. You can get it through roberthotchkin.com, amazon.com, barnesandnoble.com. You can go to your local bookstore, and if they don't have it on the shelf, they'll order it in for you. And if you happen to like eBooks, well, you can get a Kindle edition from Amazon, or you can get an iBook edition from Apple Books. But anywhere in the world, you can get a copy, either a hard copy or a, a, a digital copy, an, an eBook copy of Realms of Power. And it'll open up 12 different supernatural realms of power in the Holy Spirit to you. Every single chapter is another, it's about another realm, shows you scripturally what you have and gives you keys on how to begin to move in it. So you can start establishing these realms in your life and in the earth through your life. There are things like the power of faith, the power to work miracles, um, the power to shift atmosphere, the power of tongues, the power of decree, the power to create wealth, and so much more. Get your copy of Realms of Power and start moving in the supernatural aspects of your Christian faith today.